Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. Uh, today is day 19, 19 of our Hidden Figure series, and today's Hidden Figure is Jane Bolin. Jane Matilda Bolin. It's funny because one of you guys suggested her, and I was like, Bolin? And my mind immediately went to like, Anne Bolin, and like the Bolin girls, and like European aristocracy, and I was like, Bolin? Black person named Bolin? Jane Matilda Boleyn was the first African-American woman to graduate from Yale Law School, the first to join the New York City Bar Association, and the first to join the New York City Law Department. She became the first black woman to serve as a judge in the United States when she was sworn into the bench of the New York City Domestic Relations Court in 1939 by Judge Fiorella LaGuardia. <clears throat> by Judge Fiorella LaGuardia. Fiorello, Fiorello. I did musical theater in school and we definitely, definitely did a play on LaGuardia. Jane Boleyn, born in Poughkeepsie, New York on April 11th, 1908, Jane Boleyn graduated from Yale Law School and after relocating to New York City, became sworn in by Mayor Fiorello LaGuardia as the first African-American female judge in the U.S. She served on the family court bench for four decades, advocating for children and families via outside institutions as well. Jane Boleyn was a superb student who graduated from high school <clears throat> in her mid-teens and went on to enroll at Wellesley College. Though facing overt racism and social isolation, she graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in 1928 and was officially recognized as one of the top students of her class. She then attended Yale Law School, contending with further social hostilities, yet nonetheless graduating in 1931 and thus becoming the first African-American woman to earn a law degree from the institution. Bolin worked with her family's practice in her home city for a time her father was a was a lawyer her father was an attorney yeah her father was an attorney who headed the Dutchess County Bar Association and cared for the family after his wife's illness and death which occurred when Bolin was a child so she was also raised by a single father Bolin worked with her family's practice in her home city for a time before marrying attorney Ralph E. Mizell in 1933 and relocating to New York. As the decade progressed, after campaigning unsuccessfully for a state assembly seat on the Republican ticket, she took on assistant corporate counsel work for New York City, creating another landmark as the first African-American woman to hold that position. On July 22, 1939, a 31-year-old Bolin was called to appear at the World's Fair before Mayor Fiorello LaGuardia, who had plans to swear her in as a judge. Thus, Bolin made history again as the first African-American female judge in the United States. Having already been assigned to what would be known as family court, Bolin was a thoughtful, conscientious force on the bench, confronting a range of issues on the domestic front and taking great care when it came to the plight of children. She also changed segregationist policies that have been entrenched in the system, including skin color-based assignments for probation officers. And you know, it has been proven I've talked about this in other videos, I've included links to it in other videos, that the darker your skin is, the harsher your court sentences are for men as well as for women. That has been proven that that is true. Additionally, Boleyn worked with First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt in providing support for the Wiltwick School, a comprehensive holistic program to help eradicate juvenile crime among boys. Bolin was reinstated as a judge for three additional terms, 10 years each after her first, also serving on the boards of several organizations, including the NAACP and the New York Urban League. Though she preferred to continue, Bolin was required to retire from the bench at the age of 70, subsequently working as a consultant and school-based volunteer, as well as with the New York State Board of Regents. She died in Long Island City, Queens, New York on January 8, 2007 at the age of 98. A 2011 biography was published on Bolin's career called Daughter of the Empire State, The Life of Judge Jane Bolin by Jacqueline by Jacqueline A. McLeod. Of course, I will have links to that in the description box as well. The cover of the book features a 1940s painting of Boleyn by Betsy Graves Renew, which is part of the National Portrait Gallery's collection. Oh, that's super interesting. Jane Matilda Boleyn was the youngest of four children, and her father, Gaius C. Boleyn, was a lawyer and the first African American to attend Williams College. Jane Boleyn adored her father, and she always knew she wanted to be a lawyer, especially after witnessing 
articles and pictures of lynchings of black southerners in the crisis, the leading black magazine of the day. One of only two black students in her class at Wellesley College in Massachusetts, where most of the white students ignored her and she lived off campus with the other black students. A careers advisor at Wellesley College tried to discourage her from applying to Yale Law School due to her race and gender, AKA misogynoir, that sweet space where race and gender intersect for black women. She graduated in 1928 in the top 20 of her class and joined Yale Law School, where she was the only black student and one of only three women. After becoming the first African-American woman to receive a law degree from Yale in 1931, she passed the New York State Bar Examination in 1932. Oh, yeah, see, she practiced with her father in Poughkeepsie for a short period and then with her first husband, Ralph E. Mizell. She ran unsuccessfully for the New York State Assembly as the Republican candidate in the 17th District in 1936. And again, this was kind of pre the flip of Republicans and Democrats. So her running as a Republican candidate will kind of be the equivalent of her running as a Democratic candidate today. She then joined New York City's legal department, serving as assistant corporation counsel before being appointed as a judge by Fiorella LaGuardia on July 22nd, 1939. Jane Boleyn was the first black woman to graduate from Yale Law School, the first to join the New York City Bar Association, and the first in the United States to become a judge. Let's get into some quotes. Jane Boleyn was often known as the Lady Judge, who was frequently in the news for accounts of her regal bearing, fashionable and fashionable clothing, hats, and pearls. Um, after her comfortable girlhood was profoundly shaken by articles and pictures of lynchings in Crisis Magazine, she wrote, It is easy to imagine how a young, protected child who sees portrayals of brutality is forever scarred and becomes determined to contribute in her own small way to social justice. Jane Matilda Boleyn, a hidden figure. Please check out the links in the description box. Food for thought as always. See you guys tomorrow. Peace. Black History Month.